just win, really. That's it. That's what it comes down to. Talk about our philosophies and everything. It involves, you know, the team above you, and then ultimately that's the goal is to win. I think everyone will succeed on their own as long as, you know what I mean, you win. A bunch of teams that have a bunch of pro bowlers, a bunch of, you know, all pros or a couple like that, they all have winning winning seasons. So that's what it comes down to. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, everything has to be earned for sure. Um, but, you know, to learn my new position and do, do it to the best of my ability, you know, obviously that's the easy answer. But, you know, obviously I have goals for myself. You know, I'd like to have, you know, a bunch of sacks, TFLs. You know, I'd like to be in the end zone again. I got a pick last year. I don't know how that happens. I get one from the line of scrimmage, but I don't get one being in coverage all the time. But, um, yeah, hopefully to do that, you know, make big plays. You know, turn the, uh, make the offense turn the ball over, get sacks on the queue. And then those are the, you know, those stop big drives. Those are, you know, game enders. So that's what my goal is for the team. Does your mindset change with the position? Yeah, it'll, it'll change, yeah. Well, there's only one mic on the field. Like, are you talking about microphone? In the... Oh, I thought you said the mic. Um, Oh, uh, mindset? No. I mean, go out there and be the best you can be every play. I mean, studying habits haven't changed. Workout habits haven't changed. I mean, I've changed my body type a little bit because I'm more on the line of scrimmage, yeah, a little bit bigger. But uh, I would say, no, uh, you know, the mindset of going out and trying to be the best you can is still the same. Pushing guys, I think I've, I've taken on probably more of a leadership role. Um, you know, that's something I want to do, a personal goal as well. But um, that's for sure. That's how it's changed for me. It's like you're working on that technique like, all the time, even dating back to OTAs. You know, you're working on something with Coach Rodriguez or you're just on the sidelines working on hands. How, how are you taking to new stuff? Yeah, I think, you know, playing that outside edge position is a lot of tech, technique work as much as it is, like, brute force, too. Um, there's different times you have to use each one of them. So, you know, uh, that's just something I try and continue to work on every single day to try and, you know, where it becomes second nature. Um, you know, new things, things that most of the things that sometimes I feel uncomfortable with or I don't understand all the way. Um, but, yeah, hopefully, you know, just keep that going throughout the whole year. You know, maybe change up some new rushes or something halfway through. You know, that's what some of those guys do, and they're, I think they've had success from it. Uh, just like five pounds, yeah. You know, it was nothing crazy. Last year towards the end of the season, sitting below – I think it was like 258, so I put on a little bit more than that. Are you evaluating anybody certain for pass rush moves? Uh, no, I, I really haven't. Um, I really like uh, Bradley Chubb. Um, I think probably have, you know, same same size. But, um, yeah, so, but, um, yeah, just working on what Coach Rob has been, you know, teaching us and that's applying it out on the field. Does it feel, does it feel like, or do you pay attention, let's better say, do you pay attention much that there aren't a lot of people that have big expectations for this team? Um, do I pay attention too much? Well, I think every team has expectations to win, you know what I mean, or big expectations. It depends on, you know what I mean, you got to take it one game at a time. We're coming off a of rough last season. And we're coming off of, you know what I mean, uh, just the situation we're in. But, you know, no one really cares, you know. That's, you know, that when you go and tell someone all your problems, like, they're just going to say, I really don't care. <laughs> that's what it's come down to. So, like, you got to go out there and prove it yourself. I think every day, you know, a lot of people doubt us, and that's okay. Whether you're the best team or the worst team, people are going to doubt you. So you got to just go out there, take it day by day, and, you know, apply your work. What will help change perceptions outside? Winning will help change perceptions from the outside. But how do you guys change perceptions from within? New culture change, holding guys accountable. You know what I mean? You can't be 30 seconds late to a meeting. You can't be five minutes late to a, a meeting. You know what I mean? You can't walk. You need to be there taking care of your stuff without being guided. You know, we're grown men doing this game. Uh, so it's small things like that that I feel like, you know, sometimes that's what, even though it's the small things, you can't get away from it. So that's the culture. Everyone's held accountable, and they have to be, you know, because if they're held accountable in the locker room, they're going to be held accountable on the field. Mm -hmm. Is that the message you hear over and over again? Oh, yeah, constantly. Is it? Are you thinking about you or are you thinking about the team? So that's what it is whenever, if you were to be late to a meeting, you know, fighting on the field, you know what I mean? Everyone gets upset, but you know what I mean? you got to control your emotions, especially during a game. But, yeah, so is it? are you putting you first or the team? It was, you know what I mean, be loose, but be yourself, but stay in the parameters of the defense. And same way with, you know what I mean, it's not like it's locked down. It's, it's not, you know, it's not Pelican Bay there, but it's like, it's like, uh, it's, um, we're, uh, we're just, I mean, we're just 
having fun in the locker room, applying what we know, applying what we do to each day. So it's it's not it's not bad. It's uh it's 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 been fun so far, and they they let us do our own things and. Um, you know, apply it on the field and off the field. They let us come to them with questions, or if we do something wrong, they're not. You know, it's not black and white. They give us a little bit of gray area room to work within, so it's nice. How much did those little things creep in last season? Was that a big thing? I mean, yeah. I mean, I really don't want to talk about last season, but yeah, it's just like, yeah. I mean, small things happen. Small things, you know, add up to be a lot for sure. Was the reaction having Buddha back on the field? Uh, it was nice. You know what I mean, Buddha. I, I was standing there, and someone punched me in the stomach. I was like, who the hell is this? So like, oh, they're Buddha. <laughs> but, like, yeah. And he's like, are you ready? I was like, yeah, I'm ready, Boo. Let's go. It's day one to the long season. Let's get after it. Buddha always brings a type of energy. Buddha will hold everyone accountable. That's someone who, you know what I mean? I remember the first time I was out, you know, it was my rookie season. I messed up a simple play. And, I mean, he was on the sideline just, you know, getting, like, telling me every name in the book. But, like, I mean, I remember that day vividly, but it wasn't because he's trying to be harsh t- towards me. It was because he's trying to make me better. I think that's, like, something that Buddha brings to the team for sure. He tries to make you – know, even if he doesn't even have an idea of what your position is, he's going to try to make you better, you know, by being competitive. So. Did you punch him back? What? Did you punch him back? No. No, I didn't. Thanks, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's really fun to be back. It's exciting. Uh, It's good to see all the guys again. Everybody, um, like they've been training hard in the off season, and uh, just being back together for training camp. It's a time where we can just you know lock in and just be all about ball. So it's uh, it's exciting to be back. It feels like uh, there's been a lot of guys who have talked about optimism and the change and everything, but it feels like you've kind of been at the forefront to kind of talk about how excited you are to be in this new time and to, to move forward. Did you? Is that just naturally how you are, or do you, did you feel like you had to kind of like make an effort as one of the team leaders to, to say this thing? Uh, I feel like it's natural. Um, circumstances, you know, in, in life, you know, especially in my life, you had to have, have to be um, optimistic and whatnot. So, uh, 
but yeah, that's, that's what it is, and uh, it's the truth. It's what I feel. Um, you know, I really, I really respect uh, everybody who's here working. I really respect, you know, Coach Gannon and uh, Coach Drew and all those guys, you know, for just accepting the challenge. You know, we, we weren't that good of a football team last year, you know, but um, you can just see the, uh, you know, the changes being made and just the energy and, you know, tone is being set for sure. So really respect those guys, and it's nice to, it's nice to be back in and just, you know, work towards something. Uh, just you know, uh, accountability, um, this togetherness, uh, just really um, mastering the, the basics, you know, and our foundation, and uh, just realizing what wins football games, and that's being real disciplined, being in shape, uh, and just being accountable to your teammates. What do you think about the addition to your helmet this training camp? Um, I didn't even notice it today. You know, I didn't even notice it honestly, um, but it's for our safety, so I'm all for it. James, what do you think about the, the big running back summit, I guess, the one on Zoom? And, uh, were you asked to be a part of it? And... No, no, it wasn't asked to be a part of it. Yeah, so you're going to be there, and why do you think that will be good for us? Um, I don't know. I wasn't a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think they said Eckler uh, organized it, and uh, I'm not sure what they talked about, but I'm all for the running backs and uh, them you know, wanting to get what they feel like they deserve. Um, so, yeah. Well, I feel like uh, that's what they were kind of talking about. I seen Chubb say something. You know, he said you can run for two thousand yards, and then they they say you're beat up. You know, at the next year. So, I feel like that's what they're trying to juggle. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, productivity and uh, you know being a leader and being being somebody that people can count on. I think it'll it'll take care of itself. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just getting in depth. You know, fresh out of practice, my mind. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not really worried about it. But like I said, I hope that they get everything that they deserve, and and uh, I respect them for taking the initiative. You know, for trying to get something going. There haven't been a lot of you know, aggressive practices, I guess, quite yet. But what have you seen from Paris that you like in terms of blocking and how that's going to yeah. help you? Uh, Paris, man, he just comes to work every day, you know, it's just uh, his mindset. And um, he's just, you know, he fit right in. And uh, he just, he's a big body, you know, uh, really strong, you know, strong for sure. And so, uh, man, I'm excited. But, yeah, time will tell for sure. But I think he'll be just fine. Going back to the running back for a sec, if, if you're coming into the league now, would you still want to be a running back or would you want to change? Oh, no, nah, yeah, right. Yes, I love this. I love it. You know, I love playing running back. And, yeah. I wouldn't change nothing. The money, it's about the job, right? It's about the job, yeah, um, for sure. You know, that's just this is just my case, though. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for sure. I feel like I could play defense. I feel like I, I would be a pretty good linebacker. I had a couple sacks in college. Nobody believe me when I say that. But so, you know, it's not about the money, but I feel like I could be a good defensive player as well. <laughs> Fetched. I don't know. I don't know. The the game's always changing. Sometimes, you know, it's a passing league, and running league, and whatnot. So, all I can do is maximize my opportunity that I got while I'm in the NFL. Oh, man, just uh, you running back. You know, it's the running back. I guess on. Do you ever play running back? No. <laughs> well, it's uh, something special about it. You know, man, just uh, being a bruiser sometimes and being versatile. You know, to be. You know, protecting the quarterback, you know, pass protection, um, scoring touchdowns, uh, you know. I love it. The, like you showed us how well you could catch the ball the last few years. Um, a lot of people weren't expected to see what they saw. Um, could that add to the element helping with their value when you're a great pass catcher out of the backfield? Man, all those guys that was on a Zoom call, they're all talented and they're all right. You know, they don't have to do, you know, the way Derrick runs, the way Chubb, you know, Saquon, he's so special. You know, all those guys, McCaffrey, y'all, they all do things that, you know, it, what makes them special. And that's why they make their name. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. How do you feel about uh, checking in on Tyler as everybody kind of wonders when he's going to be ready for the season? How do I feel? Like, how do you feel about checking in on him as he's doing his rehab, as he's in the locker room, and out of the practice field? Oh, uh, just... Normal, you know, just normal, just being around. He's he's right there rehabbing right with you know 
right there, you know, it's not really hard to see. You know, he doesn't really need to check in. Uh, but, man, he looks incredible. He looks incredible. It's just he came back just from the last time I seen him in uh, mid-June to what I see now. Incredible. Look, he's been working. And uh, I just love it, you know, because sometimes a breakthrough, you, know, you have to go through a breakdown, you know. And I know he's never really been through something like that before. And uh, just so proud of him, the way he responded to him, you know, physically what I see, what his body looks like, and then, you know, this regular conversation where, you know, where his head is at, where his mindset is at. I got no doubt about Kyler. Do players talk about big picture expectations among themselves, like in terms of team success, or do you, are the expectations that you guys talk about is like, hey, we got to hold each other accountable and that kind of stuff, or do you talk about goals or stuff like that? We have one goal, that's to win win as much as we can, and um, we put the team first. That's our message. That's what we preach. The team first, and uh, we come second. So everything is just about putting the team first and uh, not getting in your own way, you know. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Thanks guys. Jim.